Hello, this is a pre-recording for a presentation to be given at a workshop that is taking place on 19th October 2020. Um, the workshop is online and so this uh, recording will serve as a backup in case anything goes wrong with the connection. The workshop has two main resources. One of them is this uh, etherpad that you see here and the other one will be a presentation. Uh, both are public and uh, the conference itself, which is the um, Fachtagung Katastrophenvorsorge or Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, has uh, additional materials, but they require a login. The uh, content of the workshop is uh, the role of uh, Wikimedia in disaster response or in disaster contexts. The workshop is bilingual, German and English, and this pre-recording will be in English. Okay, uh, the focus of the pre-recording will be on the presentation, which currently is located on line 56, or linked from line 56 of the Etherpad, uh, but this will change during the workshop as content modifies. So, here now we are on this wiki page. Um, brief overview, so I will look at some the key take-home message, uh, the which is that Wikimedia contributors are engaged in disaster contexts in multiple fashions, and they would like to collaborate with others who do the same. Um, and the presentation is available in multiple file formats. I'll actually go for the mobile version from now on. And if you uh, need some metadata about it, uh, about the session that's here. Uh, if you want to cite it as here, this is also where you will find a copy of the recording. Uh, and in order to get back to the Etherpad, just go back to the About page or the About section. Then, uh, in terms of introduction, so uh, in case of a disaster, uh, lots of people um, kind of try to help and humanity has a long tradition in doing this and this usually involves people who are experts in this kind of disaster or in, dis or in disaster uh, mitigation as well as lots of volunteers. Um, some of the people who get involved they concentrate on missions in the disaster zone, others work on evacuation measures and others uh, work on preventive measures Whereas, um, and these are like on the ground responses, and then yet others uh, sit down on their keyboards to try to contribute to the digital response. And a classical example of digital response is disaster mapping. Okay, so uh, how does that relate to the Wikimedia ecosystem? So first let's have a look at what that Wikimedia ecosystem is. It is a system of websites that are uh, roughly organized by information channel um, and the most uh, famous one of these is Wikipedia um, but there actually um, are over 1000 wikis uh, that collaborate. So um, Wikimedia Commons is the media repository then here we have Wikisource, Wikimuse, Wiktionary, Wikiversity, Wikidata, um, Wikimania and a few others. MediaWiki, which is the, the software, and then Wikimedia Foundation is uh, the organization that owns the trademark and runs the service. But all of this is driven by a community uh, that wants to share the knowledge that humanity has already acquired, um, ideally in the languages of the user. So most of these projects exist in multiple languages, Wikipedia in 300 of them, and uh, most of the others in multiple uh, other languages as well. And disaster-related uh, activities uh, do happen on essentially all of them, um, but to different degrees. Now we'll show a few examples. The disaster activities at, uh, that I'm going to report about are to some extent ex inspired by OpenStreetMap, which has a dedicated arm uh, called Humanitarian OpenStreetMap. And um, 
this um, there is no uh, clear equivalent in the Wikimedia ecosystem yet. But the closest that we have is uh, a group called the Wikimedians for Disaster Response, um, under whose umbrella I'm giving this talk today. So um, OpenStreetMap has found its place in the junction between the on-the-ground and digital responses already, and this is especially true for humanitarian OpenStreetMap. Um, so let's have a look at a few things that OSM does. First, it is a digital native community and platform, um, and it interacts with a number of traditional um, disaster management workflows. Um, its main, so its main product is uh, a map or our map layers, and those map layers, they can be used by first responders on the ground uh, when they're online, for instance, to navigate. They can also be used on the ground offline uh, because you can print uh, the map or different map layers uh, or different parts of the map. And there is no, um, well, no equivalent uh, for all of these uh, things in uh, Wikimedia, although you do. There are possibilities to print uh, various aspects of Wikimedia. There are possibilities to use Wikimedia uh, in, in apps. And of course, it's digital native, but uh, we don't really have this uh, disaster focus. On the other hand, um, lots of activities around disasters already do take place in Wikimedia context. So here you have um, a workshop by Wikimedia Philippines that uh, takes no, actually, this was Wikimedia Indonesia um, that uh, participates in OpenStreetMap mapping in the Philippines. And uh, yeah, so Wikimedians participate in both organizations. Then here is an overview of countries that have uh, provided assistance to Japan um, in response to the 2011 Tohoku earthquake. Uh, and uh, this is just an example of the kind of information that is being gathered on disasters um, on Wikimedia platforms. And importantly, uh, the information is always available in multiple languages. Um, a good example for the multiple languages is uh, this uh, photo here, which uh, was used in a number of languages um, on the article about the Ebola virus because it uh, illustrates um, yeah, basically a hospital um, and to healthcare workers that are caring for an Ebola patient. And uh, if you click on this image, then you get a list of many, many uh, different Wikipedia articles that are using this image. Another thing that Wikimedians do is they integrate the texts they write, the Wikipedia articles, not just with images, but also with uh, audio, audio and video materials, if available. Um, so that uh, sometimes the complex patterns like uh, the distribution of the waves from the 2004 Indian tsunami and how it affected not just uh, South Asia but also Africa, um, so that these things can be visualized uh, for the Wikimedia user. Then uh, the Wikimedians also gather information about uh, disasters in a structured format that can then be queried through uh, the Wikidata query service. Uh, and so this is especially interesting for uh, machines and automated processes uh, because this information is available not just for humans to use in lots of languages, but also for machines. So it can become part of services. Um, other things that Wikimedians do are documenting the context of disasters. So for instance here, uh, the cultural heritage sites, um, some of which might be affected, as was the case here in uh, Nepal after the earthquake. And um, not just like uh, cultural heritage sites, but also immaterial cultural heritage like um, customs. So for instance here, burial practices uh, during the Ebola crisis in West Africa. Um, because they became an important component of um, mitigating the risk by the virus. Then what they also do is they categorize um, 
resources. So for instance, media files. And so um, that then helps in finding related materials later on. Um, then they gather, for instance, publications about a topic. So you here you have a timeline of publications about the Zika virus. Um, there's an entire corpus on the Zika virus. Uh, essentially every publication on the virus uh, has been cataloged in Wikidata and uh, then you can ask uh, queries about this corpus and the same has been done with COVID-19 um, and uh, is this concept is currently being expanded to many more topics and with quite an emphasis on disaster related ones. Then um, in disaster contexts, it's also important to think about mechanisms, uh, how information can, tr can travel to areas uh, where the internet is not accessible or to communities uh, that don't have access to the internet, either temporarily or permanently. And uh, so here is um, Internet in a Box, which is a little Raspberry Pi that has a copy, a snapshot of uh, key media's medical content along with OpenStreetMap and other medical resources. And this can act as its own Wi-Fi router and provide, um, as long as it has electricity, um, it can provide about 30 devices in uh, its vicinity with a static copy of Wikipedia. Um, then another very important uh, aspect of uh, the activity in Wikimedia platforms is to combat misinformation or first document it and um, highlighted. So here we have Sharpie Gate, for instance. Um, and, and this documentation uh, is not limited to the present. It also goes uh, way back into the past. So um, it covers past um, artwork about disasters. It covers um, documentation of historic disasters. And it also uh, covers commemorations of historic disasters like the 1985 uh, earthquake that was uh, commemorated um, two decades later, three actually. So, and now um, some of the things, or one of the purposes of the workshop is to bring the Wikimedia community and the uh, disaster uh, risk reduction community closer together. Uh, so many of the participants in the workshop are from the letter community and they have lots of experience like, with on the ground response and possibly also digital responses in a number of uh, disaster contexts. Um, Wikimedians are a community of volunteers from all sorts of backgrounds. Some of them are uh, disaster um, experts themselves. Uh, many others are not. And uh, so as a community, there are quite a few gaps uh, in terms of covering disasters which is why engagement with um, communities of specialists is of interest. So uh, some of the examples are, for instance, how are Wikimedia platforms being used in humanitarian contexts already, like before, during and after disaster events. Um, this could, for instance, be for background information about the places uh, where a certain disaster took place or where certain disaster risks have been identified or um, background information about uh, the methods of detection of earthquakes or uh, viruses or uh, similar things. Um, then uh, other questions would be, okay, uh, how could Wikimedia platforms be used? What could uh, the practitioners imagine in terms of um, how Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons and all these sister sites uh, could be brought to bear uh, in order to improve the sharing of knowledge related to disasters. Then uh, quite a few of the uh, disaster response organizations already um, engage with uh, OpenStreetMap and especially humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. So a uh, question would be to what extent this could be uh, integrated with some Wikimedia activities. Um, then if there are individuals or organizations uh, who are interested in helping improve Wikimedia content uh, related to disasters or humanitarian activities, then that would be very uh, useful to find out. And also, if there are certain resources that uh, you are aware of uh, that 
uh, could help improve Wikimedia materials but are underutilized for that, uh, then letting us know would also be useful. So um, in, in the workshop, uh, I hope that uh, this will not be a monologue, so I want to encourage people to actually pose questions in between. Um, but for those of you who are uh, just um, listening in here, um, the main thing to um, take away late, later on or to, to follow up on would be a few additional resources. So um, here are a few uh, pointers to, for instance, events organized by the Wikimedians for Disaster Response or papers about the role of uh, Wikimedia in breaking news, which often is disasters, or uh, presentations by Wikimedians about certain aspects of their coverage of uh, disasters, um, or um, a presentation about specific kinds of disasters like volcanic eruptions, um, and there are also uh, things like here, a paper about uh, the actually uneven coverage of floods. And here is a, a paper about um, basically the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Um, there are various ways in which you can participate. So the Wikimedians uh, for Disaster Response, they have a web presence. Um, and then they also have a list of ideas of what could be done, how Wikimedia could be uh, engaged in disaster contexts. And then there's the etherpad for this workshop that uh, will hopefully remain accessible for a while. Um, and certainly during the workshop. Then if you want to contact me, there are a number of uh, possibilities. And uh, with that, I'm going to uh, finish the video and it will then be uploaded to Zenodo where you can find it under this address. Thank you.